Emma James here with Media Watch. Hi Good there. evening to you. It yes. has been a tense evening. Yes. Football wise. Very much so, and uh, quite the roller coaster, especially if you're an England fan, because uh, obviously we've just heard that Croatia have just scored that second goal, which puts them ahead for the first time in this game. Uh, but of course, earlier this evening, it all looked so different, and English hearts soared when Kieran Trippier was the one to score within five minutes of that game starting. Now, just yesterday, he was tweeting about the good feeling in the squad bring on tomorrow. He might not be looking quite so happy at this exact moment in time. Um, but everyone was thrilled with this goal. And it was, I think, uh, what a lot of people talk about as being a screamer, um, <laughs> one that was not going to be stopped easily. Uh, that was not just a goal. That was like an exorcism, says this guy, uh, where there was once darkness, now only light. God bless you, Kieran Trippier. Uh, because the, the English have suffered at the hands of um, the football gods, shall we say. Uh, Gary Lineker, one of England's greatest players, you could argue, now, of course, a TV presenter, very well known, uh, said, wow, just wow about that goal. Trippier, you little hero, what a start. Uh, and more reactions to this, people pointing out the fact that he joins a very illustrious trio of players, including Gary Lineker and Bobby Charlton, the only three to ever have scored for England in the World Cup semi-finals. This was the reaction in Hyde Park, where 30,000 people had gathered to watch the game. I imagine they're not quite feeling quite so jubilant at this moment in time. Um, now, I haven't, of course, been able to see uh, what's happened just a few moments ago in the game, but this was when uh, Croatia scored their equaliser. This was the reaction in Zagreb, which kind of goes to show that everything has its equal and its opposite, although they do seem to be throwing around a little less beer than the, the uh, English fans, it has very to be wise. said. Yes, very much so. Um, Croatia are hungry. This game just got really good, says this guy, and a lot of people felt that really... In the second half, the Croatian team was a very, very different prospect. Uh, this was the unfortunate uh, face of Jordan Pickford, England's goalkeeper, as that ball made its way into the back of the net. Uh, and this tweet talks about the fact that after two back-to-back -back matches that went to 120 minutes, Croatia somehow are finishing the match stronger and have proven it by taking that second goal. Uh, so, yes, a very dramatic night of ups and downs, uh, especially for English fans. Indeed. They say that a goal is like a vitamin injection. <laughs> I so wouldn't know. It cures know. all the fatigue. It sort of makes your legs sort of work again. And I wouldn't know. I haven't had either. It's fantastic <laughs> stuff. When you score a goal, it changes everything. Changes everything. So English fans getting that sinking feeling, you could say. Um, yes, very much so. Um, lots of people taking to Twitter to sort of voice their almost panic and and it's like a sense of it's it's deja vu but it's also almost inevitable uh, it's the hope that kills you says michael moran on twitter uh, and that was long before that second goal came from croatia uh, this is now like watching england should be i.e disappointing and stressful uh, england croatia it's a world cup semi-final what did you expect a walk in the park well certainly it isn't that now at the start of extra time gary lineker was very philosophical about it dig deep breathe start again and that's just us watching it's supposed <laughs> to be fun isn't it he asks <laughs> Lineker always has a very laconic view on things doesn't he, he does great indeed. sense of humor great sense of humor now then uh, today was dubbed waistcoat wednesday in honor of um well the new and most unlikely fashion icon england's <laughs> manager Gareth Southgate. Yes, Gareth Southgate. Um, not really the king of cool ever, I think it's fair to say, especially, of course, when he himself missed a penalty back in 1996 in the European uh, Championship, that was. Uh, but his penchant for natty dressing and waistcoats in particular have led to lots of people calling for Waistcoat Wednesday today to show support for England. Uh, M&S, of course, <laughs> will be really desperately hoping that England do continue in the tournament because they are selling these waistcoats by the bucket load. They're the official uh, retailers or outfitters of um, the England squad and they have been selling these very well. Lots of people appearing on television wearing waistcoats today, including me, but I am, generally speaking, a waistcoat wearer. It's not just for today. <laughs> Um, but some people clearly didn't get the message. This guy, uh, his colleagues actually fashioned him a waistcoat out of a bin bag and they dubbed it uh, Dolce and Gabin bag, which I That's thought was funny. very cre creative. Funny. That's funny. Uh, and also, it's not just me who often wears waistcoats, Top Cat too. Some things never go out of style, says this Twitter user. And Gareth Southgate has even received the seal of fashion approval from a French magazine, uh, which is kind of really the, the coup de grace, if you, are, if you like. Which um, magazine? It is Closer, Closer. or Closer. Closer. The, it's the French version of Closer magazine. And they say 
absolutely no contest. Gareth Southgate is the trainer at the World Cup that is the most chic. Bearing in mind, of course, that you've got Frenchman Thierry Henry, who was uh, one of the coaches for Belgium, and he is very well known for being very stylish and I must say considerably more handsome than Gareth Southgate, much as he is a very nice man. <laughs> uh, but yes, the, his kind of iconic status is ever growing. There's even a petition uh, for there to be a statue of him in his hometown of Crawley, very near to where I'm from. Uh, a very small town, famous for just two things really up until now, Gatwick Airport and the, the band The Cure. Um, but Gareth Southgate hails from Crawley. They want to make him really the star of the show and they are hoping to make a statue. Apparently, Crawley Borough Council are amenable to the idea, so you never know. That could happen, even if he doesn't make it uh, all the way to the final. Indeed, the statue will, of course, have a waistcoat. Um, <laughs> if England lose, England have done well. And Croatia have played a really good game tonight, so no complaints. It looks like Croatia are going through. Uh, and obviously meeting France in the final. Emma James, thank you very much indeed. Great to see you. Emma with Media Watch. And Kaula with the business, thank you too. And thanks to you for watching. Stay with us. More to come, of course. More on the World Cup. Stay with us.